Tomorrow about 72, so not much of a change, but then we start a bump in temperatures on uh, your Wednesday. It'll be about 78, and the reason why a new ridge of high pressure will be forming, and this ridge could provide us with another Santa Ana. So I do want to point that out. Now, it's not going to be that major to extreme Santa Ana that we received last week, but we still have some windy weather coming offshore as we cruise on into your Wednesday. Changes are also coming in pretty in, uh, much in a hurry this week. Not only do we have a chance to drizzle tonight into tomorrow, Santa Ana's on Wednesday into Thursday, and then by Friday into Saturday, Saturday, a big cool down with maybe even a chance of some rainfall coming into the mix and that could lead us into your Sunday with those temperatures still staying into the 60s and the remainder of the weekend into the next following work week will stay quite mild. I think those overnight lows are going to drop each and every day till we get into Wednesday and beyond that we start this cool trend maybe even feeling a little bit more like that fall winter transition. Mm -hmm. Some windy weather for us. Now this is going to be today right around noon out towards our desert communities. These are our high desert spots our mountain ridge tops and then those desert slopes that head out towards the east. You're looking at some big, strong bursts of wind. These are onshore conditions, not Santa Ana winds, so they're not the drying winds. But if you're in Ojai, I mean, you have some really big bursts of wind uh, happening later on today. A big gust rolls through, about 37 mile per hour wind gusts in your area, staying that way all the way through, it looks like, later on tonight. And then we really reduce the wind speeds by tomorrow afternoon. But Santa Clarita, you might hang on to about 20. And this is what it looks like over in Santa Monica. Just a nice start to the morning. Uh, we're looking cold, though. And most areas here in Southern California a drop since yesterday. 49 degrees over in Santa Monica. Lots of 40s across SoCal this morning. And I want to point out that there is a chance of a little bit of drizzle tonight into tomorrow morning. You can see that just kind of spilling into areas of our Inland Empire. And that's how it's going to go. Very much a hit or miss situation. Likely to remain drizzle. Maybe we can pull off some light showers out there. But most of us won't really see a whole lot. It won't amount to much as that trough of low pressure digs down into areas of uh, Nevada. We get that little tiny tiny opportunity of some light showers and then that smooths out moves into our east and then we're back to a ridge of high pressure building into it looks like our region so with that our next Santa Ana wind event happens as early as Wednesday night into Thursday morning and we have the possibility of picking up some more wind speeds now is it going to be extreme to major Santa Ana wind event no we're not going to get to the same as we saw last week in fact it's probably weak to moderate but still producing 30 mile per hour wind gusts in some areas and drying us out really well. I like to see another trough of low pressure smooth out and uh, start to make its way southbound. This is over on your Friday. Now look at this. We have Sierra snowfall. I love to see that Sierra snowfall anywhere from uh, Tahoe, even north of Tahoe down into Mammoth. You could get some snow and then you're going to see it looks like even a chance of some rainfall for us yet again this week. So two opportunities, maybe even three Friday, Saturday. That's that next round and then maybe lingering into Sunday. Now this trough stays with us. I mean, it's a big area of low pressure and there's so much moisture just offshore. So my hope is that some of this will start to transfer in on Sunday and then move in maybe even on Monday too. So there is a pretty nice uh, round of rainfall potential.